Today we will do an interesting thing. We will combine wood, metal, and something from ancient times. A long time ago, I made such an interesting device. Maybe someone remembers. Of course, it turned out to be controversial in the comments, but there is an interesting mechanism inside. It will be useful to us today. Once I was asked in a message if I could make a box for a marriage proposal. Well, that is a ring box. This topic is fashionable now. There are a lot of videos on the internet about an unusual marriage. I did not take that order because first I need an idea and I need to be in time for a certain deadline. But then this idea was born spontaneously, but purely for myself, not to order. In general, due to the specifics of my channel and in principle the type of activity, I decided to make such a box. The first detail will be the place for the ring. First, we turn out a small container from a brass rod, only 25 millimeter in diameter, and the ring itself will be located in it. This will be the main part of the ring feed and feed in every sense. Here is such a detail turned out. Ideally, you can gild it, well, or cover it with nickel. The next part is the holder, into which we then press the small bearings. We process the part from the outside and drill in the center, but with an eccentric. We increase the diameter of the hole to the diameter of the bearings and cut into two thicknesses of the bearing. From the side where there is more body, we mill the hole. We mill the same hole in the ring holder. And these two parts will be connected by a small rod. The distance must be accurate, so we turn with emphasis. Next is grinding, cutting and turning on the reverse side. Warm it up thoroughly with a hairdryer. Well, the first detail, a little futuristic, is ready. It remains only to press the bearings. It will be attached to the lid, and the lid itself will be movable. And we'll make it out of wenge. Venga the material is, of course, beautiful, with a rich color and uneven veins. But it is not very easy to process. At the slightest incorrect milling, it gives chips. However, this is compensated, especially after oil treatment, by a beautiful saturated texture. We drill a hole almost in the center of the ledge. The holder will be attached here. Two holes on the edges for the guides and a pair of holes for mounting the spring. Milled with a margin, so we cut it off with a bandsaw. On the reverse side, I just aligned the cutter manually. Although I made a small machine, it was possible on it. I made such a machine from an electric pipe. But now the part is very small, so I removed a small layer by hand. All guides are made of solid carbide, calibrated, and you don't have to wave a dead chicken. In the center, which is larger, we simply press it and glue the extreme one. The diameter of the rod of 3 mm will be quite enough to hold this structure. It turned out to be such a folding lever with an emphasis. I wound a thin spring, but in the process I modified it a little and pressed the washer on top. Why is the spring thin? It is necessary that the lever does not fly out, but slides out smoothly. The next part is the box in which we will hide the entire mechanism. I did not make any reliefs, purely vector milling. And in general, it seems to me that all these carved elements, ornaments, complications, they are not very relevant to the modern world. And although the loft style is also gradually disappearing, but still smooth straight lines remain in fashion. 
Perhaps someday in the future, the twisted legs of chairs and tables will be at the peak of popularity again, but now they definitely are not. Here is a thin partition and those very chips appeared. I had to fix it a bit. Well, you can try on the heart of the mechanism itself. It's only been 50 years and it's going to beat again. We will make two guides along the edges. The lid will rise up on them. To make everything smooth and without jamming, we will make two bushings. First, I drilled them with a drill bit of a smaller diameter and then turned them to a diameter of three millimeter. The spring is not super strong there, so everything needs to move smoothly. We also glue them into the holes. So that nothing gets stuck in the future, the exact place will be indicated by the bushings themselves and only then the glue will harden. I fixed the lower limiter and slightly unfreeze the lid. Of course, at first I try to draw everything in the program, but there are adjustments in place. At this stage, the lid closes, the mechanism hides, and you can move on. And then, on the one hand, I round off the lever of the spring plant and move it to another position. The spring will be wound on the reverse side, and the lever will perform another function, namely to lift the lid. After it rises vertically upwards, the pendulum is locked and the procedure can be repeated. But the spring release itself needs to be slightly modified. In the place where we will press, we increase it a little. In the bottom box, we drill a hole for the crown key on the side. We check whether the hole matches and drill it to fit the diameter of the key. I also took such an original detail, there is a tetrahedron inside it. We grind a little outside and then solder it into the key. Of course, the inner tetrahedron could be made by yourself, but why if there is already a ready-made part? Now we drill a hole in a 5mm rod and bore it exactly to the diameter of this part. We'll make a few grooves on the outside for beauty and cut off the workpiece. On the reverse side, we mill the groove for the crown. We will cut out the head itself from a one millimeter thick brass sheet. First, we make two holes, wrap the screws there and mill around. Thus, there are no jumpers and the end almost does not need to be modified. I sanded it a little and we'll solder it all together again. Well, while the key is cooling, let's make one more important part. This will be the guide for the button. The soldering process did not show, but it looks something like this. Well, once everything is soldered, you can paste it into a box. The loads here are small, two component adhesive for fixation will be quite enough. We drill a hole in the lid from above, there will be a button here. We also lightly mill the hole from the bottom. Well, since the main operations are over, you can start grinding. And after that, we cover it with a mixture of oil and varnish. Now the texture appears much better and the color is more noble. Of course, the video does not fully convey this. I decided to take the button from the camera too, so it will be more authentic. Since the lid will rise up, but the mechanism will remain below, you need to make an intermediate button. The top button will put pressure on the rod, which will remain below, and the button will rise up along with the lid. Well, you can connect both parts. Well, at first glance, everything is very simple, but what is the essence of the idea? I will explain now, but first I'll show you how it works. Click on the button and wait. Ta-dum! And the ring appears. 
We start it with the key on the back side, and we lower the lid down. Well, the point is this. As a rule, the anticipation of a miracle or a grand event is more pleasant than the event itself. Or the longer the foreplay lasts, the brighter the finale. Of course, eight seconds is not so much, but it is enough to wait with bated breath. It turned out to be such a small surprise from childhood, but for adults. As they say, we all remain children at heart, only toys become more expensive. In general, I hope you get the idea. First of all, this is the unusual presentation of an important event, and of course, a certain element of creativity. If you are also happy for a non-standard approach, we have a lot to talk about. Bye-bye.